wires from module to module within the footprint of the array does not need to be in conduit, but once it leaves the array, it does. It can be PVC or metal outside on the roof. Some areas of the country require metal conduit on the roof, but if the conduit enters the building, it must be in metal conduit. The metal conduit serves two purposes. It protects the wiring from mechanical damage, and it can serve as a better path to ground for current to flow if the wires inside have been damaged. In most parts of the country, all AC wiring within the walls or attic does not need to be in metal conduit. Think of the typical Romex type wiring just stapled to joists. It's protected by circuit breakers. DC wiring from the modules on the other hand has to be protected more and will always be in metal conduit in walls or attics. So if you're in a house pulling sheetrock and see metal conduit, it's a good indicator that a PV system is on the roof. Additionally, seeing conduit coming down off the roof on the outside of the building should also be considered as possibly coming from a PV array. Disconnects can be another clue to the presence of a PV system. Some systems will have the inverters inside, either in a garage, basement, or an electrical room. Often, local codes will require that a disconnect be on the outside of the building to allow for the shutdown without us entering the structure. 